belly dancer diaries and to today's video which is about our backward arabesque. I did a while ago now, quite a few months ago, I had a choreography that I taught in class. I have that on Instagram, I'll link that below, which used our backward arabesque set. Really, really beautiful. So this is one of these moves that sounds a lot more complicated than it, I mean, it sounds a lot more complicated than it is, but also it's all about our momentum. It's all about the feeling. It's a really fun one. If you watch the choreography on Instagram, you see it's very high energy lifting up. It's like you're falling back into it, but actually the step is very simple. So if you'd like to learn this move, please keep watching. So what are we doing? Of course, as always, starting with our little posture, I'm going to show you from the side because I think that will be easier to see. First off, keeping our feet hip width apart, pelvis tucked in, chest up. From here, we're just stepping back, bouncing down, and then lifting up our leg. So our normal arabesque, we're coming out to the side and up, or out to the side and over, or turning as we arabesque. This one, instead of stepping forward, we're stepping back. That's why it's called back arabesque. So again, from our normal position, coming into that back step, down, and then opening up. So that's really, really slow. Make sure in this one you point your toe because it's very different if you're coming down and up versus down and up or limp foot, not as nice. So make sure lots of energy in that leg, like any arabesque, really extending out. The next most important thing in this one, as with all arabesques, is the arms. Arms, very simply, coming from here, opening like we're offering out. So a little cross, and then open. Little cross, then open. The timing, as you put it together, is you step back, little cross, and open as that leg comes out. So again, little cross, and open. One more. Little cross and open. So if we're doing it up to speed, it looks really beautiful, especially if you're wearing a long skirt with a nice slit down the side so you can see that foot coming out. We're coming down and open. Again, down and open. To the front, down and open, down and open. This is also one of those moves that you wouldn't do repetitively. You just do one to finish off a routine. So it's really nice if you can bring it in with other movements. So I think in my choreography, I'm stepping back and through and then adding a turn. Another thing you could do with it is coming back and front and into our chasse, for example. Or you could just go back and then step back, keep stepping back. So I hope you like this move. If you have, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to write in the comments how you go. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can be notified when new videos are released. And as always, happy dancing.